everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am sitting here at the park on the 60 degree weather day in Colorado. Um, this is crazy weather for us. It feels like spring, almost summertime. We have no snow on the ground, which is nuts. Excuse my look. Um, my oldest, my eight year old Avery was coming down with pink eyes. So I, so I decided my eye felt a little scratchy to use her eye drops in my eyes and a horrible allergic reaction to her eye drops. My eyes were red and purple, almost swollen down to here. So I am not wearing any makeup. I'm on new eye drops to help heal my eyes. They felt like they were gonna bleed. Oh my gosh, you guys. If you guys don't have school age kids yet and the sicknesses have not hit you, you're in. I mean, I don't know what else we could do. I like clean like crazy. We are all on vitamins. We all eat healthy. And so you just get hit with a sickness and with being pregnant, I think my immune system is seriously down. And for the fact that I've been on like modified activity for the past week, so I've been in the house and not able to clean like I normally do, which is not good. So I wanted to come on and do an update, like a little life update, pregnancy update for you guys before I do my 28 week vlog tomorrow. Um, last I spoke to you guys, I had a preterm labor scare in the hospital um, my cervix was measuring 2.5 centimeters and normally they like it about four centimeters so it was a it was short um, and I was having lots of contractions and um, so for the past week I have been on like modified activity they don't put women really on bed rest anymore unless you're hospitalized and you're really going into preterm labor apparently it doesn't reduce the chance of you actually going into preterm labor. So we have just been doing modified activity and I went in for a checkup on Wednesday and she checked my cervix with her hand. She actually looked very worried. Um, she was like, that is shorter than I normally like and I can feel funneling. If you guys don't know what funneling is, it happens when you go into labor. So normally your cervix is like this and funneling means that your cervix at the top where the baby's head is is opening like this um, and then that's when the baby's head usually pushes down and causes you to go into labor and your cervix ends up widening more and so then we did an ultrasound to see if she could get a good measurement of my cervix to make sure it wasn't shorter than what the hospital had measured and to just get a better look at it so when we saw on the ultrasound it definitely was funneling it looked like this baby's head there was a little pocket of fluid and then baby's head was sitting right there stinker and so um and so then she took a measurement of the cervix and it was measuring 3.7 centimeters so hospital is 2.5 now it was 3.7 so someone along the lines measured wrong and or it's just different doctor different parts where they measure um, when I was watching her do it, she measured it like six times and it was hard for her to get a good measurement. Um, she was just a nurse practitioner. It was not an ultrasound tech. So, um, that's kind of inconclusive. My mom is a nurse practitioner. Well, she's retired now, but she worked for an OB office and the ultrasound tech that works at her old office is extremely good at doing ultrasounds. She's been doing them forever. And so my mom is working on getting a hold of her. My insurance won't go through them, but we're gonna see if she can get me in um, just on her off time to check me out and measure my cervix to see if we can get a more accurate look on my cervical length, just in case I do end up having contractions again. Um, and if my cervix is 2.5 or less, I really need to take it easy for the rest of the pregnancy until 37 weeks. I'm <laughs> waving at my kids. I drove them to the park. We were sitting out here. It's awesome. Um, so we are doing that, trying to figure that out. And uh, um, my doctor also did what is called a fetal fibronectin test. Um, they swab the vagina and they send it in and it um, calculates a certain protein in your body and if that protein is high it's a good indicator that you have a high chance of going into preterm labor in the next week or two 
So I got the results back and they were negative. I'm so excited. Um, awesome, awesome, awesome. So I've just been really listening to my body. The last two days, well, since yesterday, I have been up and around. Yesterday, I was able to clean my house, sanitize, do things that I normally do. Um, and when I sat down in the evening, I was cramping a little bit for an hour. I had like six contractions in two hour time span, which I know isn't great, but I had stopped contraction at that point. So that was awesome. And um, so I've been trying to take it easy. Today I'm up driving around. I drove the kids to the park. And normally before, a couple days ago when I would drive in the car, get contraction after contraction, I have not had any driving. So I'm so excited. I have so much to do over the next two months before the baby comes. I am due March 30th. Um, and uh, I just have a lot to do. I have organizational things I want to get done. I want to get my office set up. I need to get the nursery set up. Lots of things to do. So, um, so glad for that. Um, and I think that's all. My car is in the shop to top it all off. Um, I finally went and splurged and bought a great car, great family car, well, me and my husband did, a Ford Explorer. And um, how exciting was that? That was about six months ago, I think. And my oldest daughter, Avery, was riding her bike in front of the car, saw through the grill, and noticed that this frame, I honestly think it's the frame. They didn't think it was the frame, the sales guys, when I showed them, um, because I took the car back in. It's like a three inch pipe that runs right behind the grill, and it is bent into a V and rusted. So when I bought the car, I got a clean Carfax, a clean expense, inspection and everything I do have a warranty on the car but I refuse to drive a car with frame damage or body damage on it or that was in a previous accident with two kids like I did not go and spend this kind of money on a new car to have a car with body damage so two days ago we got the car towed in and just they came and picked up the car they towed it into their shop they are inspecting it and I have not heard back from them yet. So I'm thinking the problem is a lot bigger than they had hoped. Um, I'm still trying to try and stay positive. I know for a fact that they were looking at it yesterday morning and the, um, the manager of the service department, I talked to him on the phone. They said they'd call me back tomorrow night after they looked at the car and I never heard back. So I'm assuming there's a bigger problem than we thought. Um, but I'm hoping that we figure this out and I'm hoping that they work with us on this because that was a surprise and so that's a little life update I am in this little lender car the girls love it little kids love new changes and stuff like that and I might run to Target and I think that's all just wanted to do a short update and I am ready to go do my hair and my makeup, but I need to order all new makeup now. So that's going to be fun. Anyway, um, baby is doing good. She's kicking like crazy. And I am feeling good and positive. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow at my 28-week pregnancy update. Have a good night.